Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we give you honor, we give you glory because you deserve them, God. This day which you are going to talk on your word and share your mind with your beloved and those people who trust in you, God. Pray that your Holy Spirit will help us. Your Holy Spirit will enable us. Your Holy Spirit will give us word. And your Holy Spirit will convince us. We thank you and bless you. Thank you because you are God and you are God alone. You don't need our permission to exist. You don't need We love you for your sovereignty, God. We thank you for who you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hey, uh, this is Brother Derek Salem Malimasi with EOG, Evening of Glory Project. I'm here to share with you this portion of word which came to my mind since forever. And, and I think it's the right time to talk about it now because out there the enemy is spreading the news, trying to take things away. Um, let me start by saying Merry Christmas to everyone. And this is your gift from EOG. When I give you this video to wish you Merry Christmas wherever you will be and wherever you'll be following us, we say may God bless you because He came in the flesh to save us. Uh, I want to talk, I want to go into details about the stories of the Bible. You know, there is pillars, there is stories, there is things which form Christianity. As, as Christian people, or as who believe in Jesus Christ, there is things which shape our faith. There are things which connect us together. And that's what I'm going to talk about. It's... It, it's something you cannot avoid no matter how hard you try. And, and the Bible tells us we should pass this practice to the new generation, to our children. They have to know what is true. They have to know the truth of Jesus Christ. And today I'm going to talk about Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm going to talk about those pillars like, like Pentecost. I'm going to talk about the Easter where, where people are changing stories, where people are trying to deviate the story. Let me start by this statement. There is no Christmas or there is no Easter without Christmas. And Christmas is meaningless without Easter. You will understand that those two pieces, they attach, they are connected to each other. There is a lot I will talk about, but those two ones are connected. The Bible says uh, in Luke chapter 2 verse 10, it said, This news, this great news of joy will be shared to the whole world. People will celebrate. That was when the birth of Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ was born. That's when the angel came and told the the shepherd, this news which you know now, this secret which we just share with you now, when you guys speak out, it will be a joyful moment to the whole world. So you should celebrate. We don't celebrate 25, no. We celebrate the birth, the physical coming of God on earth. That's when God came. He took a flesh body. He took a human body to come on earth. And he didn't come to enjoy the breast milk. He didn't come to enjoy the pizza and everything. No, he came for a purpose. And that purpose we talk about, which connected automatically to Easter. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God loves so the world. He loved us so very much. I always take it in a, in a form of an exam. It was an exam. God was under test and they say god there is two op there is two points here and one option only there is the world and there is your son who do you want to save the bible confirms me that for god loves so the world he loved us and he sacrifices that that's when we talk about easter easter is not the burn or eggs or whatever you're thinking about nothing of that but easter is the day the lord jesus christ died and he came back to life you know i i know i'm, I'm now old enough to know a couple people who died and I never see them come back to life. And 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 no one, even the great people I heard about the Maldestin, all those guys, they never came back to life. Only Jesus Christ. That's why you should celebrate Easter. You should, no matter where you are, celebrate the, the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because first Corinthians. 
15 when you said verse 12 going down the bible say our faith our preaching our belief was in vain could be zero if jesus could not raise from the dead though i don't know how you can stop me celebrating somebody who came to save my life the bible said our preaching could be wrong if jesus did not raise from the dead though i say because he was born he died for me and because he died for me that's why i celebrate i celebrate the birth of jesus christ i celebrate the event, the actual event of Jesus being born. See this news, as the Bible say, the story of Mary and Joseph. The, when, 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 when the, when the, um, when the, the angel came to Mary and said, "Greetings, Mary. You have found favor among the ladies of the earth because you will bear, you will nurture the Savior." And and I love this grandfather Simon. He said. My soul bless God because my eyes have seen your salvation. And that way you should celebrate Christmas. It's not about the date, it's not about the time, it's not about what, it's about the birth of Jesus Christ. And pay attention. There's nobody will be born every day. People say, no, the birth of Jesus is when you receive Jesus. No, there is two different options. There is a birth, there is a growth. Because Jesus himself didn't start to ministry till he was 30. So when you believe Jesus Christ, it's another step in, 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 the, in, the, in, in the Christian life. And because you believe not the whole package, that was it, the whole package is the great story of the Bible. We start by, by, um, by this, this one on Christmas, which even the prophet, I saw him from far. I can see him coming. That's who he was saying. He was birth, he was pronouncing, he was prophesizing the birth of the king, the birth of the savior. And he didn't stop there. A lot of people talk about it. They want to say, we are celebrating the birth, the historic coming of God in the flesh on earth to save you and me. And these are these are story of of of, of Passover of, of 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 Easter. Those are the days. You see, if the blood could not be shed, no one could be saved. Jesus had had to die and raise again. And so, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. That's what I love about the Bible. There is this other part of the great story of the Bible, which we call Pentecost. The Pentecost is when the church was born. The birth of the church, of course, when Jesus died and he was with the disciples. He said, go somewhere. Do not do anything. Don't start anything until you receive the power. That's the Pentecost. The Holy Spirit came to give birth to the church. The Peter who was afraid, the me who was ashamed, he came and said, take your shame away. I sanctify you. I accept you in the house of the God, of, of our God. I sanctify you and I justify you and I give you strength to go, to start in Jerusalem, in Galilee, and wherever you will find yourself. And that's you. There's some more coming. There is the great story of death. After death story. What happened after? Death? Only in the Bible we have the confirmation that there is a life after we pass away. It doesn't stop when you die. Only in the Bible. Let me repeat again. Only in the Bible you can find the story. It tells you when you die. After you die, there is a life which continues. And see, there is a judgment coming up. And it's only judgment. There is a rapture. Those who belong to God will be taken to heaven. Those are the great story of the Bible. And we will preserve them. We will speak about them. We will let our generation know that we belong to God. And the Christian faith has some pillars which hold us together. We have Christmas. We have Passover or Easter. We have Pentecost. We have, we have all those those. Uh, the rapture, we have the judgment, we have all those pieces come together. That's what made the Christian life. I know we are living a confusing time now where everybody saying things are not right, but I want to encourage you and I want to tell you be confident you are on the right path. Be confident you don't believe a date, you don't believe in, in a month. We believe in a living God. He's the God who lives, He's the God who came on earth was born with a virgin and one day he suffered for your mercies 
and heroes again. And the Bible says he is coming to take us with him. So be encouraged this morning because God loved us so very much. A couple verses before we dismiss this. This little uh, 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 gift of mine f to, uh, from me to you is the Luke two ten. Just read there. I know the Bi the Bible talk. There's a lot of book talk about the birth of Christ. I want you to consider only that part. You see this news. Let me let me let me let me just find it for you. It's 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 a very great story. It's a very 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 great story which I want you to 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 read and, and to understand because the Bible is so very it's so beautiful. The Bible said this, but the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you a good news that will cause great joy for all the people. The news we are talking about the Christmas is the news which will bring great joy to all the people on earth. So we should celebrate. And I'm, I'm saying again, Merry Christmas and may God bless you. This is from EOG. Evening of Glory Project, Brother Derek Salem Arimazi.